Hello everyone and welcome back to Sew Granny Sew, where we try out beginner-friendly quilting and sewing projects, all while helping one another with tips, tricks, and hacks. You never know where you just may find your next must-try project. Remember to always be kind and empowering to one another in the comments as we are leading by example for our next generation of sewers. So with all that being said, let's head on over to the table and get our next project going. And we are back at our table. We are doing block number seven of our Quilt Builder card deck series. So I have all the fabrics cut out today. I did want to go in to showing you. So on the front, you can see it looks basically like two different colors. I am taking uh, this opportunity to make, when it says down here, uh, A, B, C, D, E, like that. I'm making each one a different color to show the pieces in the quilt uh, to you, not only that, uh, but to add more color to the quilt. So we are just using scrap of fabrics. I went with the theme of burgundy and green. I will link in the description below uh, a couple of the other blocks in the series. They all have in the description a link to another block um, so you can see the different ones. We're not going to go into the details about how the cards work and stuff because I have mentioned that in the first six videos. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this. So these are our pieces. We have five different pieces. These are the same. Uh, these are the same. And then this one is the center, of course. So we're going to start by taking our triangles one of each piece and we're going to put those together now you can pin them if you'd like i'm not going to because they are so small and we're just going to take a quarter inch seam all the way along there and we're going to iron that open and we're going to iron towards the green so we're going to get these four sets done and i will meet you back here we have all four of those sewn together once you get them sewn together and ironed and as i said i just ironed it towards the green we're going to go ahead and cut off the dog ears i have done these three I'm gonna cut it off right at the edge of the fabric like that we have all those cut we'll set those ones aside now on this next step if you wanted to it gives you the size of these and they're the same exact size and this will make this part of the block uh the ones we put together with just corners so if you wanted to you could leave this all one length and just sew the two together and then trim them down to that amount i worked with scraps to use up the scraps for accumulating going through the different squares so I have mine all cut out just as it says. We're just going to line those up. And so a quarter inch seam all the way along there. Once again, we'll press those open and we'll iron that as well to the green. And we'll do all four of these sets and I will meet you back here. Have all of those sides done now. This one is a super easy square. Uh, but I like the detail in it. Um, this would be nice to just make a quilt out of uh, just with this and you know one other block or this block by itself. So we're going to lay this out quick and it's super easy. Now you can take these and put them whichever way you want because they're the same on both sides. We'll put our burgundy to the inside and our green to the outside and these are your corners. And then of course your strips. If you even wanted to switch it up, you could put the the green there. I like the burgundy in between it. And to make this super easy, we're just going to sew this together in three rows. So we'll fold them like this. We'll bring them to the sewing machine, put a quarter inch seam in that. And then we'll do the other side like this. And we'll bring that back to the sewing machine and we'll put another quarter inch seam on this side. We'll iron all that open and I'll meet you back here and I'll show you how to put these rows together. We have our three rows put together here now. Um, and as you can see, I just ironed them towards the center there. Now we're not going to be able to nest when we put them together because I did iron them towards the center, but it lays so much flatter. So I went ahead and did that anyway. So now we're just going to have these seams to line up on this. So we'll flip one over. And we'll put our seams together and you can see the stitching on this side and the stitching on that side. And we're just going to make sure that we have that nice and lined up right there. And we'll throw a pin in that. And we'll do the same on the other side. Making sure that top edge is lined up. 
And then you're just going to take that sewing machine and put a quarter inch seam all the way along that. I like to attach both of mine with pins before I take it over to the sewing machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side just like I did that. Get it sewn up. We'll iron that flat and I'll bring you back to show you the finished block. So our block number seven is completed, as you can see, and I just went ahead and ironed all towards the center that way when I added those two in. And it does lay nice and flat. So I'm going to go ahead, because this video is so short, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to cut those down and how we're going to do uh, one part of the sashing as we start going with our blocks. So we're just going to center that on, and you can use your triangle of the square, and we want this to be eight and a half inches. So I'm just going to back that up a little bit and make sure you're cutting off equal amounts on each side. Now we're just going to make sure we got our far corner down here because we've trimmed uh, this side and this side. We want to make sure that's sitting at the eight and a half inch mark. And this is lining up on this side and this side with the eight and a half inch. Now we're just going to trim up those last two sides. And that's all there is to squaring it up. Get that out of the way. So now our block is a perfect eight and a half inches. And I have pulled in a couple different colors because I was thinking white for in the middle, but I don't think I like the combination of the colors with white as much as I do with an off white, um, because there is some specks of off white in each of the different fabrics. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use off white. You can use whatever color you'd like depending on what colors you're using for the squares. These strips here are two and a half inches. So with an eight and a half inch square, you don't want to have a bigger border than four inches. And so you want to keep your sashing smaller than that, of course, um, in comparison. So I think two and a half inches was about right because it'll end up being a two inch sashing and an eight inch square. So I'm going to bring these over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to do the bottom edge. So when you connect your blocks, they'll be like this. So you won't need to put a sashing on this side or this side of this first square because your outside sashing will get that. So you only need them on the bottom edge and the right side. Um, and then once you get to the right side of the quilt, you won't need them on that right side. So we're just going to go ahead uh, and do the bottom edge. Um, and we're going to make sure that they're all able to turn around because when we get down to that bottom row, of course, we're not going to want it on the bottom yet either. So we're going to go ahead and do one edge of each of the squares with the strip and the way to do that I don't have my trim down yet all mine trimmed down I just have the one we're just going to lay that on there and put that quarter inch seam along there while it's still on the sewing machine we'll put the next one down making sure there's a little room in there to trim it up and put another quarter inch seam along that one and we're just going to keep adding until we get all of our blocks done like that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get some cut down and get them through on the strip Iron them open and I'll bring them back and let you see that. <laughs> we have the white uh, sashing attached for that bottom side of that one. Um, and I just ironed it all towards the sashing because it does create less bulk. And now I'm up the ruler with the edge of our block all the way along. And then we're just going to cut that sashing off right there. And we'll flip it around and we'll do the other side of the block. And now our sashing is attached to that block. So it's really simple to do a whole bunch in a row, get them all done. Um, and then we got that much done of it. So we can just keep on making more blocks and put that sashing on as we go, get a few made up, put them on the sashing. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these ones up here. So once we have them all done, as you can see, we can just attach them in a row like this. And then we'll just put a strip down the center and that will do our right sides. That was our seventh block and the name of that is Churn Dash. A really common block, very pretty. Uh, it looks like you put a lot into it and it was so simple to make. As always guys, if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you here at So Granny So. 
Thanks all. Have a great day. Bye.